What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another video, and this one I'm going to be doing another squad builder. And uh, this one costs around 550,000 coins, although it also really depends on when you complete it. It cost around 550k when I completed it, um, because there is a squad builder challenge, Suarez up there. I mean, we can go ahead and put him in now. Um, <clears throat> he is the player that this team is based around, and he is incredible, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, so that is the focal point of the team. Uh, but starting from the goalkeeper, we do have a little bit of a hybrid. Um, just three Serie A players here. So we have uh, Handanovic in goal. And uh, the reason he's there is because, and the reason that there is this Serie A aspect is because I got Handanovic in an untradeable pack. Um, and he's actually a pretty solid keeper. Uh, probably one of the best keepers in the game, I would say. Um, and then this center back partnership of Mario and uh, Miranda is amazing. Um, I used this to get that Inter Milan connect connection uh, to get the chemistry. I realized afterwards I could have just used two Juventus Italian center backs like Benucci and Chiellini, uh, but these two perform so well together that I just left them in there. I mean, it's uh, it makes sense because Mario has got a really good card, 77 pace, 82 defending, 78 physical, really decent stats. Miranda, similar. Uh, but 89 defending on that card is pretty ridiculous. And uh, the whole rest of the team is a, uh, you know, it's, it's La Liga. Starting off with DeMarcos in the left, left back position. One of the best left backs in the game, but or one of the best right backs in the game. Uh, but Alba is amazing. Um, probably the, left, the best left back in the game by far, I would say. Not a single player that I've used anyways is better than him. Maybe something like Team of the, team of the Year Marcelo or like Roberto Carlos, but... Of the ones that are affordable, Alba's definitely the best for me. Um, and then we go to the cinema positions, and we have Isco, Rafinha, and Turan. And this midfield three is really, really good. Um, they boss the midfield every single game. All three of them are very good at dribbling, uh, which makes sense because they got 86, 85, and 86 dribbling. They've also all got a, you know enough pace to be you know like to be able to get past people. They've got enough shooting to be able to take long shots. Yeah, they're just really good, solid midfielders, and uh, they all have three contributions in nine games, uh, interestingly enough, with uh, Tehran getting more goals and assists, and then um, Rafinha and Isco getting more assists. Uh, but then it is the front three next, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, this Vela, again, I used him just because he was in my club. Like When I packed him, he was worth like 20,000 coins. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just keep him in the club and use him. I don't usually like left-footed players, but six goals and seven assists in nine games is very good um, for a right winger, even if he's playing at, even if he's playing at the right forward position. And then Carrasco is equally as good, 84 rated as well. Um, you know, not as not a good stats at all, but he does have five goals and five assists in nine games, which is still which is still really good. And then Suarez is the best player I've used in any FIFA. Ever, I would say. Um, so if you're wondering whether or not you should complete the Suarez SBC, 100% do it. Uh, because I played him in 10 games so far. One of those was a substitute very early on in the game. Um, and he's got 15 goals and 3 assists in 10 games. That's 1.8 goal contributions per game. And he had an average rating of 9.2 over those 10 games. Which is ridiculous. Um... And it would have been a lot higher. His lowest rating in those, in those 10 games was uh, a 7.8. So, yeah, really good stuff from Suarez. Uh, the team overall, I played nine games with the whole team. Suarez did play one extra because they used him as a substitute. Uh, but the team overall got 29 goals and 14 assists in nine games. That's uh, And, you know, seven, seven losses and two – or seven wins and two losses in that run. So for me, you know, probably an average FIFA player, I would say. Um, I am getting slightly better at the game because I'm starting to play it more often. But uh, definitely, if you're, like, really good at FIFA, you'll probably just dominate with this team. Um, ever, there's not a single part of this team that I would change, except for maybe DeMarcos. Uh, if you could get the informed DeMarcos, definitely go with that because he'd be the perfect player to put there. Um, if you really like Benucci and, or Chiellini, you know, put, put them in there. Let me just drop my controller. Um, 
But uh, yes, yeah, so that is the team. Again, it's going to cost you mo like a lot more or a lot less depending on when you do it. Um, I would imagine it's going to continue to get cheaper to complete as uh, as player prices continue to drop. Obviously, the main you know cost of this team is that Luis Suarez, but he's definitely worth doing. Um, so uh, that's the team. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time.